Stephen Stainer was abducted when he was only seven years old. On December 4th of 1972, Stephen was walking home from school in Merced, California. As he was walking, a man handing out religious pamphlets approached him. His name was Irvin Murphy. Irvin had been in cahoots with infamous serial pedophile Kenneth Parnell. Stephen thought his mom might like to hear about the religious pamphlets, so he got in the car with the two men under the impression that they were going to go talk to his mom. Sadly, that's not what happened. Parnell took Stephen to a cabin and told him that his parents didn't want him anymore and that he was his new guardian. And also, he named him Dennis and decided to tell people that he was his son. Also, here's a trigger warning for sexual violence and assault, so if you don't want to hear that, that's totally fine. Go to a happier video. During that first night, Kenneth molested Stephen, and a few days later, he full-on sexually assaulted him. And that torture went on for seven long years. As Stephen entered his teen years, he became too old for Parnell's preferences. So he reached out to his friend Barbara Matthews, who had also assaulted Stephen, 